welcome back to the channel and another episode of It's Jenkins. This episode of It's Jenkins is brought to you by Trebuchet QS. Trebuchet QS, doing the unexpected. Well, the last episode's base defense went off pretty well. Uh, this episode, um, we've got the main lance back. I've got both the Annihilator and the Battlemaster back. The Annihilator as a Godzilla works great. I had no problem putting that mech together. We go to the mech bay real quick. I can't show you what I did, but it's actually... It turned out pretty well. Uh, it's got four Gauss rifles. It's got a pair of light Gauss rifles, one in each arm. It's got the um, uh, Hag 30 in the right torso. And in the left torso, it's got a clan Gauss rifle. Each one's got plenty of rounds of ammo. Uh, I made sure that there was like more than 10 turns. I think it's like 16 rounds for each of the three main Gauss rifles. And then the Hag's got 12 rounds of firing, something like that. I couldn't, I don't, didn't have any half tons of ammo, so I couldn't make it, shave it lower. Either it was like, well, the light Gauss rifles, one ton is 16 shots. The regular Gauss rifles, eight shots, so it's either eight or 16. We were having problems with the Hag possibly running out in a few missions, so I wanted to make sure we had at least 12 tons of Hag, uh, and then we got 16 tons of regular Gauss ammo. So plenty of ammo, thing runs super cool. Uh, it should be pretty accurate. Now, I did try to put together the Atlas, this one's a little trickier based on the gear I had. I originally tried to put, um, I was thinking about putting an Ultra 20 in, but the problem is is that I don't have any Ultra 20 ammo, so I can't actually use an Ultra 20. Then I thought, well, well I'll just use a regular Auto Cannon 20 um, and then round out everything else. And then it just seemed, the problem is is that I, either I've got really good long range stuff or I've got really good short range stuff and it's either one build or the other. Problem is, is the Battlemaster is going to end up being a mixed build. So I tried to do something with it that I thought would work. Um, we have a pair of Clan ERPPCs that we pulled off of the Vulture. I basically put everything else in storage. So we have a pair of Clan ERPPCs to, that we have from the Vulture that I could put on here, and an Ultra 10, and a regular ATM 9. So that wasn't a too bad loadout. Now it was very hot. I couldn't sink the. I couldn't get enough heat sinking in it to keep it heat neutral but if we're not firing the ATM or we leave the um, the Ultra 10 off for a turn heat will bounce back out again as long as we keep firing the ERPPCs every turn it's going to be tough to keep the heat in in check so I'm like okay well that's not going to work then I tried like kind of like a medium range build with a bunch of large lasers and the Ultra 10 uh, and that wasn't really working it just seemed like underwhelming so I'm not really sure how to outfit this guy. It's got a 300 engine, so the speed is, I think it's like 3-4 movement, something like that. The uh, the, the Godzilla is 2-3 movement, it's really slow. I think it's 2-3, two, 2-4, two, somewhere in there. So they're both going to be very, very slow. This the, the Annihilator is definitely, like, you know, the Godzilla is definitely a long-range firepower platform. So it just needs to stand there and shoot. It doesn't have to do much. The Battlemaster, I mean, I could do a mech that's similar, but we're already going to have a longbow. I want the Battlemaster to work, or sorry, the uh, the Atlas to work in tandem with the Battlemaster. So they got to be a, like kind of closer brawler mechs. So maybe the ERPPCs on the Atlas aren't the right way to go. Maybe it's trying to keep it to 600 meters or so with like large lasers or something like that. I don't know. Having a hard time figuring that one out. Like, I mean, we could go large lasers and an AC-20. That could work out. I don't have any light 20s left, so an AC-20 ammo is like, you know, a dime a dozen, so I got a bunch of that. I got to think about it. But anyway, we got the main lance up here. I know what mission we're going to go ahead and take today, so let's just go to the command center and jump straight into it. We got a, a four skull mission here against Tamara and Abby, which is just basically striking at one of their lances. I thought about doing this one here. It's against Tamron Abbey as well. It's a three and a half skull. Uh, so chances are this would probably be 10 mechs, or like, sorry, nine mechs, the, the leader plus the plus two lances. But then I'm figuring the two lances would probably be a little less firepower. So I want to test this out a little bit more. So that's why I want to go with this one. I think this one will probably be heavier mechs. So we're going to take this one. And even if there's only four of them, it should be a good fight. We're going to go 312 and, and grab some money because it's going to be a lot of money to put shit together. So we're going to grab some more cash. Take this one and then we'll switch to Jenkins' lance here. 
So let's load up uh, Jenkins. And I think we're going to switch out the Pegasus again. And we are going to bring the Testudo. I think that worked out well last time. I, I keep forgetting how many Efreets we have. We still got to do... I still got to do a uh, an all-flyer mission at some point. But not today. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Yeah, you keep saying that. Command interface initiated. Alright, well, here we go. Find them, light them up. Same old, same old. Hopefully they don't light us up first. Uh, oh, this map. Ah, oh, yes, this map. So, they very well could get reinforcements. Well, maybe not. They're letting us deploy over here. Kind of. Ooh, I haven't been on this one in a while. Like, normally you start here, and they're spread out across here. And then they get reinforcements from this side. So let's maybe... Let's start back here. That'll keep us behind the hill. Hopefully we can clean up from uh, one side to the other. Okay, I heard a copter. And that's not me. Okay, we got a vehicle. Hopefully they get reinforcements. Ah, crap. Really? Is it going to be like... This is four skulls. Come on, it better be tough competition here. Tamarind Abbey is supposed to be tough. I don't know why. Quick draw 4G. Owens. Owens. And a vehicle. Uh, they better get reinforcements. Waiting for orders. Yeah, you know what? We're just going to wait. Going to wait for this guy to move, then we'll crest and murder him. There's somebody else here. So they do have reinforcements because there's a vehicle moving down there somewhere. Is that a Griffin? 3M. Yeah. It's just reserve. Helicon it whatever that is. Oh, that was an AC something carrier. AC 10 carrier. That's a pair of 10s. I'm not even... Heck a ton cherries? Heck a ton cherries? I can't, whatever. Streak 15 clan. Gosh rifle. So that's not too bad. Good to go. I mean, I don't see anything terrifying just yet. Holding for tactical They're spread advice. out. I mean, we should be able to kill this guy pretty quick. Once he moves, he's, it's over for him. And then it'll be seven against six. Okay, here he comes. Thank God for the AMS protecting us on turn one, boy, I'll tell you. Alright. Let's get started on this guy. Copy that. Let's get started. Is he in range for the flamers? He is. Let's not turn it all on, though. we we'll put that on. Um, we might as well get a sensor lock on him. I think we'll dro probably drop one uh, Chevron Arvision off him. Off. Yeah, nice. Nice. That's a bit better chance to hit. Now, do we have... Um, we don't have anything available, so we shall just attack. Burn him! Okay, we missed the big one. No biggie. There's that copter. There's got to be one more back here. Probably another vehicle. Ready for orders. I did hear a vehicle move earlier, so that's probably what that was. Okay, I'm going to get in close on this guy. Go for the best chance to hit. All right. Trebuchet QS doing the unexpected. Actually, let's put this above the pulse. 
sorry, above the uh, pulse. See ya. Target eliminated. Wouldn't want to be ya. Ready for orders. All right, problem one down. Now we don't have anything to shoot at. God damn it. Well, let's go here behind the rock just in case. Move. Not that much of a rock, but at least it'll uh, provide a little bit of protection. Orders. All right, Mattel. We could get a shot off on somebody here. Uh, let's get in the... Mm. Sure. We'll get in the trees. We're gonna move forward a little bit. I think we can kind of get up in behind these rocks to provide a little protection for next turn. Um, yeah, once again, I didn't bother uh, setting these guys out. We'll go this route. We'll fire at everything. I don't think this will take longer than 10 turns, probably. Target confirmed. Well, at least we did something. Yeah. Hit every seven. Nope, just getting the trees. Moving fast. All right, Duke. Excellent. Standing by. Just park oh, behind this guy. Just don't shoot me in the back. Ah, uh, what do we got? Inferno and standard. Let's just go standard. We're gonna hit a bunch of guys over there, so why not? We'll use the Inferno when we get a good chance to burn somebody up a bit. Yeah, you shouldn't be moving in, buddy. Nice shot, though. Maybe not. I thought the PPC was going to land there for sure. Excellent. Waiting for orders. All right. I am not waiting for these guys. We are going to push them. Roger. Push them Hold straight speed. to hell. All right, firing on this guy. Here it comes. Aye, aye. Oof. Nice one. I'm kind of liking this this mech as an overheater. I mean, yeah, it's, it's situational. It's not going to work in every battle. But it's still fun. Reporting minimal damage. Yes, Commander. Got to get used to not being able to fire all the weapons at once, though. That's for sure. Uh, let's see which one is better. We'll take a shot at both these guys. Double time. Let's go. Larges are just in range. That's about it, probably. Combat shotgun can come down. Or maybe it just might be the PPC. Which is probably more likely. Nope, that's everything there. Just the snubs on him. He's just out of range. What do we got? 37? Yeah, fuck it. This is pretty good chances on the Owens. Let's take that. Feel my wrath. Okay, not bad. I love the loadout in this Black Knight, I gotta say. There's really no, like, knockout punch weapon. But, um, the sheer volume, it's devastating for medium and light mechs, that's for sure. It strips so much armor. Especially when it lands, you know? If the shots don't land, obviously it doesn't matter, but... If they land, it's a problem. Alright. Guy's kind of a light mech hunter, so maybe we target the Owens? Yeah, I think so. Not much of a difference between the two. Yeah, we're kind of underwhelming at, like, medium range, but once we get close... This Lance is pretty damn good. 
Commander. This guy deserves a response. So let's respond. I copy. Let's respond. Put the machine gun on, because why not? Engaging. Ooh, I think all the streaks hit. Nice. Stripped off his armor. This yellow jacket got a bomb load? Rotary 5. Okay. Gotta be careful of that one. Wait, who has the large lasers? Oh, an Ostrock. Wait. Two, three, four. Okay. What do you need? All right. Whatever. Whatever works for you. What's up, Jesse? Got it. No shooting. Coming Just to running. get you. You may be fast, but the Duke's slightly faster. I have the advantage. Scored a critical hit. Yeah, he's rethinking about he's rethinking that uh, choice to push in a little bit. No, nope, let's not go up there. Let's go right here. We got lots of armor, but I don't feel like uh, letting them strip it off. Uh, who's warm? This guy. See if we can keep him warm. Roger. All right, not bad. Twenty-seven. Damn, we're gonna do this right. We're gonna do it, but I don't. If, whether or not it's right or not, that's a good question. Here it comes. Oh. All right. Thought he was gonna fire the ACs, but I guess not. Armor's holding, Commander. Nothing to see here. Good. Good. I'm not. I want to look at you. How's the heat treating you? Yeah, make sure you fire everything. I'm showing minor damage. Oh, that thing runs pretty damn cool, cool anyway. Well, it won't be in a minute. Quick draw is about to draw down. Oof. Loving this guy today. I love how these guys just yes, are not afraid to push. We want to kill... I think we want to go Griffin hunting. We got three guys on this side. We should be able to uh, be pretty damn close to killing them, if not kill them this turn. Ooh, the bin hit. Nice. How's his armor looking? Probably still pretty good. Once that gas rifle connects, I'm in trouble. Standing by. Full speed scooter. Confirmed. Check for that AC5. Sorry, watch out for the Ultra 5. How's he doing armor-wise? This guy's still pretty fresh. Not for long, though. He is overheating. Once my heavy flamers hit him, he's going to be losing a hell of a lot of armor. It's just going to be melting off. Ooh, what are you up to? You sneaky little bastard. I gotta chase you down. Duke's gonna chase him down. Commander. Forget about him. Duke's chasing him. The Duke's on him. Oof, we don't have range for the flamers. Alright, well. We do hear, though. No, but I think we're going to target the ground. Just to make sure we get this guy with heat. Yeah, we're not using these guys either. Just these two. Target confirmed. 32. Beautiful. 
That guy's in trouble now. Speaking of trouble, time to get into some trees. Yep. Jesse Owens is giving me a problem. Let's get this guy. That's it for him. Ooh, the streaks didn't hit though. Oh, we still got him. Okay. Gotcha. I was concerned about that. I thought, wow, damn, the streaks didn't hit. We're not going to kill him. But there's enough shots to uh, crit him out. Here it comes. Oh, he's got. Uh, armor. That's interesting. Commander? That's interesting. We're just going to walk it and drop All our right. uh, instability. Getting into some trees for some protection. Yeah, I gotta try and pull this guy out of here if I can. We're shooting him from the right side, so we should be able to hopefully blow through all that stuff. There we go. One less target. Uh, Commander? Yeah, man, Inferno. Drop it on him. Got it. 21 more. Guy's a little bit toasty. Ready for orders. What do you think, Scooter? We want this guy or what? We could just... I, I think I'm going to leave him to the overheater. I think that's what I'm going to do. We're going to push these guys a bit, I think. Down. We're going to leave him to the other one. To the uh, quick draw with the overheat. Not that great on him. Not that great on anybody. How good is the armor on this thing? Actually, not bad. So, let's get a shot off at him. At least get started on if we can. Don't know if the rotary's jammed, though. Should have checked that. Yeah, good luck. All right, get up to here. Okay, going full throttle. Then we're gonna switch these out. Leave that one off just so we don't splash ourselves. Then we're going to sensor lock this guy. Cause we're gonna try and shoot him down this turn if we can. And then barbecue this guy cause he is not doing so well. Ooh, four hits. Oh my god, he's in trouble. Got something you want done? Uh, yeah. I want that copter gun, but I don't think you can do it. I don't think you've got the range. Oh, you do. Aye, aye. You do. We're okay for armor. I don't mind taking a few shots from these guys. Alright, let's see if we can get this guy. Engaging with target. Alright, one of the streaks at least hit. Orders? Alright, Jenkins. We don't got much speed, but the speed we do have, that's no matter where we go, we're gonna be in the open, I think. Let's just walk to here. We'll use our long range stuff on this guy. We'll drop some heat this turn. So let's use let's turn this guy off. It's not enough. Let's turn that snub off. And this guy. It's almost all of our heat sinking back. Confirmed. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Yeah? Alright, Duke. Ooh, man, we're moving. We are moving. Roger. Man, hovercrafts on roads. It's insane. Well, hello there. Acknowledged. 
Nope, he streaks it. Not even through his armor yet, eh? We are stripping it, though. Man, putting an AMS in this Black Knight was like the best thing I ever did. <laughs> it's so damn slow. Receiving you. All right, we're going to attack the ground here. We're going to put a shot right between you two guys with the arrow, Inferno. Damn it, I can't see it. All right, it landed pretty good. A little bit off. Lots of heat for them, though. And they're standing on fire, which helps. This guy's running pretty cool, though. And that's the other thing we could do with the uh, Battle Master is put it up, put a Goss on it. I still got the Pirate Silver Bullet Goss. That'll drop a bit of heat. The Ultra 10 uses 18. And we could split the ammo a ton of normal, a ton of AP. And then, I don't know, the ERPPCs, I don't know. Without any speed to get into battle, that Atlas is like, it's gotta be, it's gotta be a long range guy, you know? Damage is minor, Commander. How you feeling today, buddy? Looking a little toasty. Receiving you. Uh, can I? I can. Let's sprint down in the trees here. Let's sprint down into the trees and see if we can't connect and wipe. Oh, this guy's got the good. Yeah, let's see if we can get him. Well, we got a pilot hit. That's not bad. Reporting critical hit. Not gonna bail out, eh? He's not a chicken. Yes, Commander. Let's vigilance that so we can get ahead of them next turn. I want to try and close the gap here. Moving fast. Moving fast, and a battle master that can't move very fast. All right, that's garbage. Ooh, that's not bad. We're at our, we're kind of reaching our optimal range here, so we should be. Yeah, we're heat, we're heat good now. Heat good. Locked on target. Fire enemy. Heat good. Wow, that's terrible. Oh, not too bad, I guess. We're stripping armor. That's the most important thing. Sorry about that, just talking with my kid. Okay, uh, what are we doing? We were taking a bit of a pounding. A bit of a pounding. Copter's giving himself to us, so we're gonna take it. Let's move over here. Excellent, we took a lot of damage in the side there. Oh man, all right. God, really? Can't even get the kill, eh? Critical hit. All right. Well. What do you need? You don't want to be close to those guys because I'm about to screw them up. Let's get over here. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. This should be it for him, I think. As long as we land. Wow! Well, look at that. Like everything was orange except for the back. See ya. That one's gone. Took us long enough. Orders. Do do do. We're just gonna walk up over here. Have to move. Hey, uh, what's happening, dude? Looks like you're a little warm. I got something for you. Firing at enemy six. <laughs> Good choice. 
<laughs> yep, plus 99 heat. Good choice. <laughs> How is anybody supposed to stand up to that? Ooh, this Ostrox is our next target. Damage minimal. Even withstanding the fire here. Um, they are spread out now, so... Ooh, how are you doing for armor? Let's switch this around. Uh, you know what? Let's keep it on Inferno. Let's go after this guy. I copy. Alright, not as much damage, but he is in fire, so he'll burn every turn. I'm ready. Excellent, I go first. Vigilance again. Close the gap slightly. Uh, do I want to get... Can I get a solid blue on that Helicanarsis jerk guy? No, but I can get to here on the move. and use the game Hold rules me. against them. Target the back guy to hit the front guy. All right, here it comes. Locking target. Never mind. We'll just hit that guy. Oh, we opened a structure up though. Somebody's gonna be taking a p -p 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 pulse hit. Dude, you got AC tens. Get in close. It's just gonna sit in the fire. All right, twenty-four. What are you doing? Yeah, you better run. Wow, I. That guy is just a terrible pilot. I don't think has he really hit anything? Receiving you. I'm sure he has, but I just really haven't seen it. Flamers. Flamers. On my way. Yo, uh, what's up? Where do we go, cannon? Clan's out of range. Nah, clan cannon won't do enough heat, I don't think, but these guys will. I copy. Okay, we got him over. Oof. That Goss Rifle connects, man. Standing by. Alright. We're hunting. On my way. Double time. We are hunting. This guy's opened up where? Yeah, we might get him. Let's just fire. Firing. Oop. That's a side hit. Critical hit, Commander. Weird ass looking mech, though. Standing by. Hey, Scooter. I got a uh, p -p 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 pulse solution for you here. Roger. What's up, my friend? Besides your death. Well, we didn't hit very many open areas. Take that. Might as well just open the rest of them up. Yep. Uh, get around here. We'll go vehicle, vehicle, oh vehicle, oh. Vehicular versus vehicular. Copy that. Ooh, that's some good damage. What's up, boss? Oh, uh, closer are we to this guy? We got one more inferno round. Let's give it to him. Aye, aye. He's asking for it. Eh, we hit our own guy. I'm out of LRM. That's all right though. My armor is getting ripped off. Yeah, it's my bad. I didn't think it would go short. Oh wait. Oh, that's okay. I thought this was. Yeah. Never mind. I thought this was the trebuchet, and this guy was like further back. Ready for order. Freak me out there for a second. Um. Uh, 
heading out. Yeah, I don't like this, but we're gonna do it anyway. Cause you know me. Let's hope this bin hits. Fire, get it. Yes. How's it how's it going, my friend? I think I hit something good. You did. You did hit something good. You go on twenty-two. Right after that guy. Yeah, payback. Light damage. Holding firm. Standing by. Alright, you in the hammer. Position confirmed. Let's tie this guy up. Let's tie this guy up. We'll drop the rifle because chances are we might splash it. Well, forget it. Let's just heat him. Uh, let's sensor lock this guy. That's going to help. And then we'll barbecue this guy. Just because. Got it. What was the heat plus on that? It's only 70. Standing by. It was only 70. Oh god, this guy just gave himself to us. <sighs> Doesn't matter where I go. My guy's in the line of sight behind him, but... I think we're okay as long as we don't miss. Not the greatest chance to hit, though. Ooh, we don't need to fire everything. Let's leave these two off. Just in case we do miss. Got the angle. Take the shot. There we go. Yeah, we still hit our own guy. Tango down. Not much armor left in that location. Good thing it was only the shotgun you took then. Uh, you're pretty warm. Let's back up for now. You're not going to be firing much this turn. All right. What do you need? Just a straight up shot is what I need. That should do it. Putting one in the back. Yeah. He's not surviving that. There you go, folks. That was a quick ending. That was a quick ending. Yeah, that was pretty good. It's gonna, I don't know, maybe it's a couple hundred thousand in damages, probably. Yeah, not a, this is kind of not a bad spread in kills. I mean, the Testudo is really a support vehicle. I'm shocked at the number of, like, two bailouts for the uh, quick draw. It's actually quite good. I think the, um, yeah, the whole next here. I mean, I could take it and just sell, like, build it and sell it, I guess, but. Plenty of Griffin parts. Uh, is there anything in here I really want, though? The Streak 15, if it survives, would be okay, I guess. What's down here? Regular ERPPC. There's a regular Gauss rifle. We've got one already, though. I mean, we could go regular ERPPCs, but the clan's doing 20% more damage for, like, what? 20% more heat? 25% 20, more heat, roughly? And being lighter is actually a nice trade-off. Yeah, there's the Streak 15. It's 7 tons. I mean, that might be a good missile weapon for the, uh, for the Atlas. Okay, Ballistic Crit. Yeah, I can't use that on the Gossilla, unfortunately. I've got the uh, plus three Goss uh, fire control system on there. And well, there is streak ammo down here. Oh, boy. So, I mean, we could go... The Streak 15 does give us the option on the Atlas to put that in there. SLDF cockpit. Three tags. We've got a bunch of these already, though. Take that. And there's not really much else, I don't think. We have any, we've got two regular ERPPCs. Already got a Goss. Oh boy. Grab an XL for the Seabills. 
Ballistic crit, energy crit, plus one accuracy. I think this is the one that we already have. At least I'm pretty sure it's the one that we already have. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take that anyway. Energy crit. Sure. I mean, it's not much here, right? So... Uh, that we can use at this stage of the game, that is. Early stage, there's plenty, but right now, not really. we got 24 medium lasers, so we don't need that. Can drop that. 5 delta can go. Streak 2 can probably just go. We got two of these pieces, that's not bad. Keep the SLDF cockpit because we barely have any cockpits at all. Alright, we, we just got garbage, that's fine. Ooh, 127. That's actually less than what I thought it was going to be because we lost a lot of armor. Didn't get any internal hits, but we did lose a bunch of armor. So that wasn't too bad. Let's see what the tasks are like here. What we're looking at for days. Five for the Black Knight, yeah, because of the armor. I get that. Uh, Savage Wolf. An Aller's 19. So we can't get that before the end of the month, but we can get our main lance back and go again. So I think we're going to do that. So that's five days there. Might as well bring the Savage Wolf up and get that done. So I did re-outfit the Savage Wolf. Let's have a quick look at that here in one second. So I'm not 100% um, sold on this, and we need a better uh, targeting computer. Hey. Why did you not, uh, did you shift, oh, that's why, okay. Let's go before the trebuchet. Should that, should have done it, right? Yeah. So, um, I thought I'd try something a little different with it. The, the two Gauss rifles were kind of okay. They weren't landing a whole bunch. I mean, they were a little bit, but not much. So I switched it up a little bit here. And went with a pair of LBX-10s. I don't have any uh, standard um, cluster ammo. Hopefully I can find some somewhere. So I got two things of slug and one of HE. So it's like 15 turns of firing. It's plenty. And then four ER mediums. Unfortunately, I can't change out the, the double XL center torso. Uh, but we do have the fire control system ballistic to remove recoil and give us more accuracy. I didn't really have a good cockpit for this, so I just left the clan cockpit in and the AR-12. I swapped out the uh, the missile rack because I was hoping to put that on the, uh, the heavy lance because most likely we're going to get plagued by flyers. So I put in a, uh, a uh, bolt-on rocket uh, 20 times 3. This is what I mean, though. This optics has got to kind of come out of here because... I think this is it's 720 what's the range on this one yeah 1080 I want to get a, a advanced optics mark 2 and pull this out and put this on the Godzilla um, but right now I don't I, I just I just can't do it so this is gonna stay like this I think but we'll see how it goes I mean I might switch it out with the one that's in the God the Godzilla has got a lot more I think it's got a lot more bonuses to hit before the optics so it's not such a big deal but I mean this is this will be okay I think for what it's doing plus it's got a tag barrage in here just for a little little extra damage but I, I don't know it's, it seems underwhelming for 75 tons but we'll see how it performs I mean it might be better to go with an ultra in the arm as opposed to the LBX but we do get the bonus of plus one to hit so I don't know maybe it'll uh, maybe it'll work out but we'll just, we'll just see how it goes Alright, but I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and go check out that quick sale site. Until next time, we'll see you later.